Hey guys, how's it going? It is your boredom report and we are back in Rosarito right now. Uh, currently we are just north of the Waldos and the Calimax right there behind. And uh, just down the street there is the Florida. And uh, right now we are at La Avenida Cucina Urbana, which is a food court uh, it's kind of tucked away. Like if you don't look super close or super quick when you pass by it, you're probably gonna miss it. But it's a really cool spot, kind of indoor, outdoor, super cool feel to it. Uh, with There's a few different options. We've got tacos and poppers. We got a, a coffee spot. Uh, we got de, de La Baja, Mami Juana, La Taquita, Pasole, Docus and Ramen. And then the reason that we are here today is we are with the world famous ABC Pizza. So ABC, you hear that? That was like real Italian. Oh my God. So we are, we are with ABC Pizza, which if you haven't heard, so many people have told me about it. This is Manny. What's up, Manny? How's it going, brother? Good, good. Yeah, awesome. This is such a cool little spot. So this is the, the world famous margarita pizza, which we're going to put to the test in a few, because he says is the best in Mexico. But check this. I didn't say that. You didn't say that? You didn't say Come on, bro. People, people say that. People say Oh, other people say that. Okay, cool. So we got the wood fire oven going here. If you don't know, I'm in the pizza business as well. That's how I got out of my suit and tie life, uh, which sucked. And I got into doing wood fire pizza, and um, he's throwing that puppy in right now. And we're gonna see, you'll see it come back out in just a few. But man, let's take a seat real quick. It's just tiny little pocketed spot, um, and super simple. Does the simple menu, does super super simple like products, ingredients, everything. But it's all real. It's all delicious. So we're gonna sit down and check out some of this stuff here. Manny, you joining me, buddy? So you check, I mean, you can kind of see the storefront out right here. Oh, you know what I forgot to introduce too. Take a quick peek here. This is Mike. Mike, what's up? Retired USMC, hoorah! And he is a self-proclaimed face for radio is what he told me the other day. But uh, anyway, so we're sitting down today with ABC Pizza. Manny's gonna come out here in just a second. But one thing that I really love about this and one thing that I've heard, so I like to check out places before I actually come into the spot. Um, but one thing I really love about this is he is as authentic as it gets. Um, he's legit Italian, I believe off the boat, or I don't know, he may have snuck across. I think he might be running from the law or something too. But he does a super simple menu. All of his ingredients are fresh. He makes his dough every single day. Manny, I need you, buddy. We're, we're floundering here without you. How are you guys? Hey, Manny right here. Manny, are you, can you sit down for a quick second or not yet? Yeah, I'm sorry. Hey, it's all good, man. Do me a favor. Tell me a little about you. Tell me about ABC Pizza and what makes you so special here in the Rosarito area. Okay. All right, when I moved to Rosarito, I noticed there was no good margarita pizza, okay? We just put this pizza in 90 seconds ago, yes. and it's already coming out here. Like, this is pretty ridiculous. Love it. So, yeah, tell me a little about ABC. Tell me about yourself. Uh, okay. And tell me what separates you from anybody else here in the Rosarito area. Okay. I, I came here like three years and a half ago because I, I tried to invest in Amsterdam, in Holland, in North Europe first. My, my partner did not invest. I chose the best over here, which is way cheaper. I so you were, you were going to open something in Europe originally? Yeah, in Amsterdam. And then, and then oh, decided to move here. Oh, in Holland. Holland. Yeah, in Holland, man. Lucky Mexico. Yeah, but to be honest, it was too expensive. Like Italy, like US. It's more shop like this, it's hundred thousand so dollars. Cool. Yeah. yeah. And to be honest, so yeah, with ten thousand dollars you open, man. <laughs> I wanna be honest. Yeah, yeah, and you keep it you keep it super simple. I know you told me like one of the beauties of, of Mexico, you know I like the off the beaten path spots, the, the gems, the things that are tucked away. Mm -hmm. And this is exactly that. I mean this is the shop. This is exactly what we have. And he said to me the other day, he's like, man, I sell one pizza a day and I pay my rent. You know, like that's pretty cool. My, my spot up in San Diego, um, I think that just to, just to pay the rent, I believe we have to sell 60 pizzas a day. <laughs> plus tax and tips. Yeah, plus booze, plus everything else. So, uh, but like I said, I love, what I really like too is you're making all your doughs fresh, right? Yes. Tell me about your process and, and what makes it so special. Okay, I use the old Neapolitan recipe, which is the first pizza invented, not the best. Northern, the first Northern Italy, Italy, right? South, South Italy. South? Oh, you said Neapolitan. Neapolitan pizza has been invented for first. It's not the best, not the first. 
It was a street food. It is a street food that is nothing expensive. Street food? Yeah. yeah. If you come where I come from, we have a lot of these small shops. Mm -hmm. Every two blocks, there is a family or a guy that open, trying to make some money. It's a poor food for poor people, yeah. you know? It's a street food, let's be honest. Yeah. And uh, that's uh, that's why I like it. I like to make uh, everybody happy something from the poor people, you know? It's something very, very good for me. Yes, when you have all the people that is interested in your food, it's, it's, very, it's very important for a chef, for a pizza maker. I'm a small artisan, very small artisan. I'm not a super chef. I'm not not just height wise, he's yeah. saying. Yeah. But any plates I send out doesn't come back. Um, yeah, everybody eats everything. Yeah, it's a fun. Yeah, I, I choose to come over here and show up what we do, where I come from. We don't use any micro, we don't have any freezer where I come from. I don't have a micro, I don't have a freezer. So just to translate that, oh, so, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he's, what, what's really cool is, so, I mean, if you look inside the shop, there's no room, you know, for a lot of stuff. So there is no refrigerator, or there's a little refrigeration cart. There's no freezer, so he's not keeping stuff overnight. Like if you don't use it, you toss it, right? Wait. Yeah, Wait, you eat it. Yeah. <laughs> eat it. He's had a couple slices for sure. Yeah. Yeah. My mama said if you love something, you build a roof over it. <laughs> Just saying, throwing that out there. <laughs> so I've, I've heard about your pizza, and we're going to get to this pizza. Mexico's best margarita pizza in the world. But I want to start off oh, with a couple. Much it's not best. I don't know. I think we're going to get there, though. So tell me about a couple other items that you got on the okay. menu here. This is a classic margarita pizza, which I think is the best pizza world do I. Okay. 90 second in oven, fresh tomato. Uh, uh, we, we use uh, pure de latte in Naples, which is very, very uh, similar to Waka, the same place. For mozzarella, we don't use mozzarella on Neapolitan pizza because it's a little bit watery, okay? And the pizza is very watery, it's very humid. And if you have too much water on the dough, yeah. it's going to soak down, yeah. it's going to be soggy. It's going to you... be way soggy. Then. Unfortunately, you get a lot of that down here in Mexico. And, uh, with a little bit of fresh basil parmesan cheese, that's it. For nice and simple. Yeah, yeah. Mike, I jump in on this Mike, are you gonna give it a try? Yeah, you gotta do like a thumb. Oh, yeah. yeah, like a And thumb. this is, look at this. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you also use, thank you, sir. Uh, all Italian product, too, right? Yes. Only the flour, I buy um, a biological flour, which I don't find the biological, biological here from Italy. It's unbleached and richer. Yeah. Uh, it's not very white flour, it's more like uh, grain color, okay? Oh, it's unbleached. Uh, yes. Yeah, unbleached. Right. And the color people like the original grains. Grains are not white. Yeah. Many of these flowers are so washed and bleached and blah, blah, yeah. blah. It's fake. It's, it's chemicals. Fake. So here's one thing that I really noticed about this. I, I, try, I try to try a lot of the places before I come the first time. The other day I came. He force fed me a freaking pizza. <laughs> I'm like, dude, I just ate. He's like, I don't care if you ate, you eat tomorrow. I'm like, okay, bro, I got this. I got it. <laughs> but what, what I really like is with everything being natural, everything being uh, clean, doesn't have all the chemicals in it, a uh, big difference that you notice. So personally, uh, I have something called candida. Candida means I don't process the yeast in my system. So if I eat a typical slice of pizza, the next day, I get drunk at like nine in the morning. It's really weird. Like the yeast sits in there, and I'm like, Whoa. <laughs> it's like I mean, it's, I'm a cheap date, you know. So I drink a couple beers, eat some pizza, and I'm wasted for breakfast, you know. But uh, one thing I noticed the other day, this is so worth it. I mean, hearing everyone say how freaking awesome this is, I'm like, ah, screw it. I end up crushing that whole pizza. I ate the whole freaking thing. I'm like, oh man, tomorrow's gonna be a doozy. I woke up in the morning. Nine, ten o'clock hit. I'm like, I'm getting ready for it. <laughs> Nothing. I felt fine, man. Thank you. I think it's like so. It's maybe I can eat a some of it. It's all the crap that's in all this processed product that we get typically in the United States, and unfortunately in other places because it's so cheap to get. Like, why not? But pizza, make it right, make it good, make it fresh. Yes. Pay your rent with one pizza. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'll pay for this. I'm not gonna close now. <laughs> It's so good though. But here's also another thing. So you saw how fast that pizza cooked, right? Check this out. I want to get in here. That's how you judge a good pizza right there. It's not too cooked on the underside, not too crispy, but it's also not just completely falling apart. It's elastic and crispy at the end. Oh, wrong. And it's so good. And the San Marzano tomatoes on there make it. Make a world of a difference, man. Yes. Uh oh, we lost Manny. Manny's gone. <laughs> 
Oh, he's showing the... Uh, yeah, San Marzano Tomato from Napoli. Okay, it's Kirkland. Then it's Kirkland, Italian? No, in, oh. they invest in San Marzano in the Lago Versano. Okay, only this one is $3.50, man. For each three, one? For each one, $3.50, man. Yeah, we pay like $3.50 the, for the huge game. But no, the San Marzano from Italy. Legit. From California. Legit. They are good too. Eh? Tomato is from USA. Eh? Yeah. It's not from Italy. Tomato yeah. is being invented in this country, next country, Mexico too. Really? But this one is grow up under the volcanic ground because you have the vulcan, the Vesuvio. The and tomatoes grow yeah. under volcanic rock? Yeah. And really? it feels. Oh, okay. up there. I don't know if you see that. That's there. the famous Vesuvio. Yeah, I'll, I'll take Pompeii. my word for it. Pompeii is next to the we got? Can we get up there? <laughs> Let's see. That area. That's, yeah. That's the spot? Okay, now we got it. Uh, what else we got here, man? Walk we have a calzone. This is one of the best dishes that I like to for, make. For my Mexican fans here, uh, a calzone is an Italian taco. <laughs> right? <laughs> a, a giant freaking Italian taco. Yeah. More, more like empanada. Yes, yes. Oh, no, no. <laughs> okay. But so what do we got going here, man? Oh, uh, yeah, there is ricotta cheese. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, that's Italian awesome. sausages, pepperoni, mm. ham, guaca casero fisco, fresh uh, tomato, and a fresh basil. And on the top, we put a little bit of uh, time of a tomato. This one, we use some marzano. Uh, Waka Casero Fisco, which I buy from a person every two days. Yeah. Go, go there. <laughs> Mike's like, just eat it. It's on the way, it's on the way for you. <laughs> oh, man. And this one for dinner, guys, is Ooh. one of the, in the winter time, this one is a dinner. And they'll make you very happy. I repeat, it's very light. <laughs> yeah. Don't think that it's very heavy. We don't do heavy stuff. That is so good. Yeah. I obviously do heavy stuff. Yes, man. Oh my God. I do too. So I have good, a like. It was so good. Walk me through. And then, of course, what do we got here? Okay, yeah. this is my lasagna classica. Classica. I mean, 100% classica. We don't put any ricotta cheese, any mozzarella, blah, 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 blah. Really? So what yeah. makes it classica? Classica is the old style. It's from Bologna, not of Italy. Okay, they use the Bolognese sauce, which is the classic meat sauce. Mm -hmm. Okay, a uh, meat with the bechamel sauce, which is a French sauce. It is made with flour, milk, butter, salt, and pepper, and... Uh, and that's it. I don't, okay, I, don't, I don't put the bay leaves, I don't put the, the greater right. chestnut because some people is allergic to nuts and things, that's why. Keep it simple and stupid, right? Simple things, yeah, it works a lot, guys. Uh, I'm okay with the super, this is super chef, you know, then they put flowers, a plate, four people to sell one, $300, but we're gonna yeah. fuck around. <laughs> and then you're like, okay, this is a cool flower. Oh, this is, wow. uh, yeah, you know. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, this is so good. Your meat, so your, is it like a bolognese sauce basically? Yeah, it that you is a bolognese in there? sauce. You put both of them inside, parmesan cheese, and you put the layers slowly, slowly. And I cook in the glass and in the boat. Yeah, it's not in the any. We lost me again. I know. <laughs> Dude, seriously, the flavors here, though, are so ridiculous. And for this flavor, like, bunch, to be coming out of this little ass kitchen is so freaking amazing. This is lasagna mix in the glass and the wood. Yeah. We don't use gas. You we don't use in the wood fire oven. Yes, every oh, morning, wow. two hours. It's so awesome. Every, every, every morning. morning. Every morning. Makes the dough fresh, makes the lasagna fresh. The calzone, the, uh, the, the Mexican empanada, or the Italian empanada, <laughs> is made fresh as well. Man, this is so good. It's seriously, I, I do not, I do not pre cook anything, any pasta or something Nothing. like that. No, Everything's you, made to order. If you want pasta, you gotta wait. If you want to go fast. Yeah? That's it, simple as that. It's so not because crazy. I don't want to go. Because uh, yeah. man put in the water, we hot, touch it, put the oil, put in the yeah. box, put in the fridge. It doesn't matter. Do the, you don't sell it, uh, what do you do? Another guy yeah, comes, yeah. touch, open, put the date on. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> Just uh, wait to the man. <laughs> I'll, I'll translate again. Uh, he, said, <laughs> he said everything's fresh. <laughs> okay. Uh, so Mandy, tell me, uh, yes. so you're in Rosarito, I explained kind of where we're at right now and in the part of town. I understand you might be looking for a new spot potentially, so if anybody knows any locations that might come it's about, one. let them know. Yeah, he wants to keep it small, he only wants to sell one and a half pizzas a day at the new spot to pay his bills. <laughs> so. <laughs> so Mandy, so if people want to find you like online or, I mean, do you have a Facebook? Yeah, you know, I have a Facebook, got? Classic ABC Pizza, you can find the phone number and ask me whatever you need. Okay. I already do some uh, private party. I went somewhere to Boogie and on request we do rabbits from the ranch, you know, from the frozen uh, rabbits. 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 Wild rabbits, yeah. Oh. 
Like Peter uh, Tatum's ever been? from range to the big one. Mm. Never been in the fridge. Really? Now here, push with the white vinegar, dried for the game stuff. Mm. Cook with the natural cherry tomato, not garlic. Really? Forget about the name of garlic, which piss me off. I gotta come back natural. for rabbit now. He's a natural, okay. Organic. I've, been, <laughs> I've been referred to as a, a rabbit, occasionally. <laughs> we do group here. I have a fisherman from uh, uh, USA, it's a Japanese American, but big Japanese. Usually Japanese has more. This one is a sumo guy. <laughs> big. big. Do you get fish from him? He, he was he's a professional fisherman plus take US citizen down in Amazon in Brazil. Really? Yeah. Steve nice, yeah. Excellent. He goes fish professionally two three days on Sion Cortez, back Los Angeles, you know, in San Diego. He takes me bluefin. Yeah, yeah, we're getting all local bar. Yes. Yeah. And whatever they can buy it, I call my own customer, I already sell it. That's what I do. Uh, when I buy the special, it's already selling. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, last time I had an excellent um, grouper. The grouper. grouper is very, very, very good. It's always wild. That's why I buy this kind of fish. It's never fun. You're never going to find a salmon in my house, man. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Salmon's it, good. Yeah, I know, but, but it's, it's from Alaska, not. man. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't even know why it's down here. Yeah, it doesn't speak Spanish. It doesn't speak Spanish. It, it didn't speak. make it down this far. It, it doesn't have its papers either. Yeah, <laughs> it's illegal. You went to swimming. <laughs> so awesome, man. Everything is so freaking delicious. So I'll post uh, some more pictures in here and try to put the location because you got to look for it super quick. Mm -hmm. what? Oh, the hours. Thanks to you. I got my uh, my PA, my personal assistant here, that face for radio. Yeah. <laughs> we open 12. If uh, if I am here at 12. <laughs> Depends what happened tonight. night. Sometimes I'm late. I know. Yeah. Yeah. And we close 8 if we don't run out of the pizza. And then the only day you're, you're only on Wednesday. Wednesday is closed. Yeah. Wednesday is not closed. Yeah. Okay. So Monday, Tuesday, Thursday through Sunday, 12 to 8, Muscle Minnows. Yes, right? That's it. Super awesome, brother. Awesome. awesome. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much oh, for having thanks me. Thanks very much for yeah. coming, man. I cannot believe I, I waited like... so freaking long to come check this dude out. Thanks very much for coming, man. Yeah, man. I Stoked to be here. So check out ABC Pizza. Um, I'm going to be coming here a lot more. i got to put on some more Christmas weight, work on my B cups. My AB cups. <laughs> or now C cups. I'm going to be curated for Christmas. Uh, he's going to plump me up so he can cook me. Anyway, check out ABC Pizza. You guys are going to love it. Awesome. Bye-bye, guys.